Hey guys, welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing mashed potato recipe. This one is sage brown butter infused mashed potato that is crazy, crazy good. Great for the holidays. Let me show you how to make it and let's get started. For this recipe and for mashed potato in particular, I like to use gold yucan potatoes. They are the best and I'm gonna peel them. You can leave the skin on, just wash them, but I wash them and I'm gonna peel them for this special recipe. I have a little over two pounds and I usually leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. I give the potatoes a little rinse, cover with a generous amount of water, half a tablespoon of salt, Cut the potatoes into smaller pieces just to cook a little faster. Cook for 30 to 35 minutes or until it's very fork tender. This is looking perfect. I'm gonna drain all the extra water. I want it to be really dry. Meanwhile, I'm gonna brown the butter and I have 112 grams of butter. And you're gonna add some fresh sage, five, six leaves, whatever you want. You're gonna cook over medium heat and this is what you want the butter to look like. Brown but not burned. I'm gonna stop right there, remove from the heat and move to a different bowl. This process took about five minutes. You have to watch it closely. This is great. Now I'm gonna move to the potatoes and these are so soft and I've drained all the excess water. And I moved the butter to a different bowl. Now I'm gonna start making the mashed potatoes. You can use this masher, no problem. The potatoes are so soft and you can do that. But because it's the holidays, and I want it to be very luxurious and super, super soft. I'm gonna use this ricer. I'm gonna use the ricer this time. Finish the whole amount and then I'm gonna season with black pepper and salt. Half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper. You can totally skip the black pepper. If you don't like the look of black pepper in mashed potatoes, certainly it adds a lot of flavor. Now I'm gonna add the brown butter, all of it, and I leave the sage out. I don't add the sage to the mashed potatoes, I'm just gonna garnish at the end. And I'm gonna start adding the milk. You can use a mix of heavy cream and milk, or you can just use milk. I'm just using milk in this recipe. It's gonna be rich enough. And I warmed the milk a little bit. This is one cup of milk and I'm almost gonna use the whole amount. I give it a little taste and it's perfect. So creamy, so, so good, so rich and luxurious. You are gonna love this mashed potato recipe. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments box below. Happy holidays and until next time, bon appétit!